Hello YouTube. Sorry I haven't been around so much recently, but it's summer here in New Zealand and I've got lots of work to do. The type that earns money, because unfortunately we need that to get by. Speaking of which, as I was flying home after the family Christmas do, I noticed something quite unexpected. Well, it shouldn't have been unexpected, but something I haven't thought of. What you're seeing there in the crappy cell phone picture is Mount Taranaki, or Mount Taranaki as us Pākehā call it. Now that is a long way away, and it got me thinking, if we can see it from the plate, I bet I can find some photos of it taken from the ground. So I had a look, and here's the first one I found. It's been pretty hard to find exactly where it's taken from, but it looks like a fairly high altitude, so we'll say 600 metres above the ground. Mount Taranaki is 2,518 metres tall. At 204 kilometres away, there should be 1,066 metres hidden. I don't think we're seeing that, but let's see if we can do better. Now this photo is taken from Farewell Spit and that's only 182 kilometres away from Mount Taranaki and here it is overlaid with one I've cleaned up in Photoshop a bit so we'll say that this was taken about 3 metres above sea level but at that kind of distance a metre or so isn't going to make a whole lot of difference Using the standard earth curve calculator, there should be 2,425.5 metres obscured by the horizon. Which would only leave the peak visible, although it would probably be obscured by the foreground waves. But having just watched a video by Dr. Zach recently, I've realised that there's a better way. The standard calculator only gives us the vertical drop from our viewer's perspective, which is the green line here. But what we really need is a line extending from the centre of the Earth, as shown by the pink line. So at that distance there should be 1.7164791 miles obscured by the horizon. That's about 2,603 metres taller than Mount Taranaki, but we all know we live on a ball and this is obviously light bending due to temperature differences. So pointless experiment, but thanks for watching anyway.